Hey folks, today I'm going to show you how to make a short script file that allow you to launch more than one copy of Sumerian Studio on your Mac. By default, the functionality of Sumerian Studio is that if I open up the Applications folder and double click on the Sumerian Studio icon, it will launch the studio. And if I go back to the Applications folder and try to open a sec second copy, it doesn't work. And that's not necessarily what we want. You know, a lot of times we're developers, we like to have multiple copies open. Maybe we'll have different solutions open and we're just kind of possibly comparing code or, or looking at um, another framework or whatever. For whatever reason, a lot of times, especially in Visual Studio on the Windows side, I like to have more than one copy of a program open. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. And how we do that is we're going to write a little Apple script that will save as an application icon and then we can put it on the dock. And we'll use that to launch the Marion Studio instead of the default icon inside the Applications folder. So I'm going to double click on my Utilities folder here in the Applications folder to find the Apple Script Editor. It's this little icon here. And I'm going to double click on that. Now when the Apple Script Editor launches, it's going to ask you what would you like to do. Well, we'd like to make a new document. So we're going to use the lower left-hand corner of the window here's button that says New Document. And when we do that, we'll get a new script editor up. The command to do this is pretty easy. I'm going to just cut and paste it in because I already have it in my clipboard, so you don't have to listen to me clack on my keyboard. You'll see that we're asking it to do a shell script, and then we're asking it to do the open command from a shell script. Dash N, in lower case, tells it to launch in a new window, and then we give it the path to Zamerian Studio. Now you're probably going, okay, I get the slash applications, Zamerian, but why do I have this double slash? Well, that's the escape character for the space. This is the command. That's all you need to type in this script. Now, we want to check to make sure it works, so we're just going to click the Run button, and when we do that, we should get a copy of Zamerian Studio that opens up, and that's exactly the behavior we want. So all we need to do now is just save this to our Applications folder. So how we do that is we go to File, and we click save. However, this is the tricky part. We don't want to save this as a script. Yeah, we don't want to save it as a script. That's right. We're going to pull down the list and we're going to select application from the menu option. And save as, we're just going to save this as Zamerian Studio Launcher. And you can name this whatever you feel comfortable naming it. Obviously, it can't have the name of something else already in your applications folder. But I know for a fact there's nothing else in my application folder named Zamerian Studio Launcher. So I'm going to click the Save button. And we should be able to go back into our Applications folder now. And notice that we have a new icon. Right there it is. Now, the one thing I don't like about it is the script icon. It'd be really nice if it was a Zamerian Studio icon. Well, we can fix that really quickly in Mac OS X. How we change the icon of the application is we right click on it and we go to Get Info. Up here is where the icon file is for this particular script or application. But what I really want is this icon. So how do I get this up here? Well, it's pretty easy. We're going to right click on Sumerian Studio and go to Show Package Contents. From there, we're going to go into the Contents folder. And from there, we're going to go into the Resources folder. And right here is the icon for Sumerian Studio. I'd note also that this is the older icon from Mono Develop that was basically the old 3.0 version of Sumerian Studio. But I really like this new icon. How do I get this icon over here? Well, it's as easy as drag and drop. I'm going to select my Sumerian Studio icon, drag it over this little icon here from the Get uh, Info window. And when I drag over it, you'll notice there's a little green plus sign. And that means that we're going to copy it in there. I'm just going to let go of my mouse, and it automatically changed the icon. It will scale the icon, so if it's really big, it'll scale it up and down, because we're basically copying the icon file here, this ICNS file, over to the script and telling it use this one for launching that application. And that's it. I can just close this. I'm going to close the Marion Studio. Go back to my Applications folder on my Mac here, and there it is. And if I double click on it, I should, hey, look at that, I'm getting a copy of Zamerian Studio up. And if I double click on it again, I got another copy of Zamerian Studio up. Now I've got two copies, and I can switch between them. 
That's pretty cool. Final trick, we can just drag this down to our dock next to Xcode, for example. And now we have the ability to watch Zamarian right from our dock, have multiple Zamarian Studio windows open at once. And that's pretty neat. So that's my tip for today on how to basically have more than one copy of Zamarian Studio open at once. Appreciate you guys watching, and take care.